Hello, lollies and jelly beans. I'm Melanie France, and this is Hot Tea for the Soul. This is a sweet hot tea. This is a self-love reading. So, this uh, reading, as you might guess, is, is going to be with the Greenwood. I have got two, though, in the pit style of Pick a Pile. Instead of doing two readings in a row, I've split them up. So, if you are after something a bit more mystical, a bit more edgy, and I've used different cards, uh, maybe look at the uh, Archetypes deck, right? The Archetypes might be featured you if that is what you might be looking for then flick into the comments i'm going to put a link to the archetype self-love reading also this one though is going to be with the greenwood all right i've been reading the greenwood for 25 years actually now like long time long time long time right so we're not going to start with this we are going to do a self-love reading that includes like five lines it's a five line reading so five cards of how we got here four cards for your healing element three cards for how you're going to apply yourself to the world two cards for your partnerships and one card for self-love right that's where we're going to lead to so for right now i'm going to put the green wood to the side let's mix up this brew what have we got bit of a witch's brew the green wood brew what have we got in here what have we got so i haven't done i've done it like a couple of readings but i've been out of the loop been doing my own thing got my own set up i'm gonna take the bottom one like decided that i want just something simple so this is where we've come to because i want to be able to travel and take you guys with me so we're going to focus a little bit on career your self-love what is your career look once upon a time they said we had uh, like two or three jobs and we had one career in our life we stayed in the same businesses we stayed in the same focus right they now know that we have like 10 jobs and three careers in our life can you could be a lot of things so it might be a career path that you're looking at maybe extra study to get to that path but what is the self-love what's the tree that you're planting what's the career what's where where are you sinking your roots right all right, because career and jobs are two different things. So we focus a little bit on a longevity of something inside of that, in what you're doing and, and financially gaining out of that longevity. All right, not just being the apprentice, not just being the jack of all trades, but what is your master? All right, what else have we got? Got some new decks, which is nice. This last year, I got a lot of new decks. And I had the greenwood for a long time. I'm going to take that one. What have we got? It is meandering pathway the flow all right we talk about the flow a lot miss bell's flow we talk about the flow a lot being in the zone being in the universal energy flow that meandering pathway it's leading you somewhere you've gone this way you've gone that way out each of our pathways are unique right we're all following our own little like ball of light all right to where we want to go so it might be you be felt like you've meandered along this pathway uh, but you're following something you're following your own guiding intuition and that's being in the cosmic universal flow all right all right all right all right she says all right so one from the elemental this is an elemental oracle i got it the other week my sister got these two decks and i was like i love them hey the sacred forest and this um and so i had to have them all right so Keep on moving and then move this down just a little so you can see me in my Hello Kitty pants. All right. What else we got? There it is. Bit of self love, bit of healing. What are we doing? Ice. The ice. All right purity so it's talking about the purity of your soul it's talking about the purity of the water maybe refining maybe you've iced over a bit but when we're talking about purification and filtering our soul our emotions in there so maybe you sit in a spot where you've iced over a bit but you actually are looking at the purity of your emotions and in this path and how you've got here all right or you're purifying your emotions right in this icy setting the horse there's still action inside of that strength in action now but we're pulling in that and we're purifying maybe you're purifying what you're doing maybe this meandering path has been like really honing in to purify what you've been doing okay i'm gonna give one from the earth magic because it's sitting here and i am gonna do one from the tony carmen salonaro right or oh, music all right turn the music on get inspired dancing's come up a lot in my cards recently jump in all right, there might be some music in your soul that might need to turn the music on to get some inspiration. But there is a soundtrack to your life. Maybe there's something inspiring. And let's do one from the heart and soul. 
Oh, let's do that one from the heart and soul. All right, it says, you are focusing purely on the negative, but there is also a positive side that you are not seeing. Your mental attitude and your thoughts make things seem to be good or bad, beautiful or ugly. All is matter a matter of perception. You will think what you think you shall become. Be positive, for behind the perceived darkness there is much to love. Light and good fortune. All right. All right, is there anybody out there that you're not looking at the positive and the, and the lights around it and what that path is and maybe where the flow of everything has gone? Maybe you like to think that, you know, this hasn't led you to, you know, and you've iced over a bit. Put some music on. Dance with it. All right, stop looking at the ugly. You're beautiful. All right, what's brought us here is beautiful. And there is a guiding light. And you've got to focus on the good. Our brain tries to actually... Um, validate what we say to it right so if you say it's all bad it's gonna go it's all bad if you say it's actually this is going all right there's a silver lining it looks for the silver lining right it is what we perceive inside of you your brain does that right it justifies your beliefs in its own fancy way all right so we've got the green wood here we're going to do this five card healing thank you for still being here like and this self-love sweet hot tea so five cards for how we got here all right, the King of Cups is out first. So we've got that D, this euphoric energy. The King is stable. It's not like a knight that, that's been in his knight's heart that's all over the place. This is like a, a, this is like a king. This is the king's strength and the king really buys into it. He buys into his heart and the euphoria of the circumstance. All right, so maybe a promise of love or that's how your heart is, the strength of your heart inside of there. Uh, oh, 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 got leads everywhere. All right. Doing some fancy stuff to mess myself up right here. Give me one second. Sorry, people. Sorry, people. Just, all right, just trying to remove. And now we're going to bounce just for a second. Bounce. All right. So, the King of Cups. All right, there's a real strength in his heart and a strength in the euphoria of his heart. A strong emotional man. All right, what have we got? Four more cards for how we got here. All right. So I got a headset plugged in, so this will be recording differently. My dulcet tones. All right. So we're dealing with the darkness. So we've got this emotional king. Let's dealing with the darkness. Whew. All right. So this is dealing with the deeper side of ourselves, the guardians. This is dealing with the depths of our despair. This is the skeletons in our closet. And see how big it looks. But it's not the actual point of the path. The point of the path is this actual here is here. It's, it's going, th you know, so we keep our eye on the path, but things look scary on the way. And it's dealing with the depths, the depth and, and, and the details, right? And about your foundations of you as a person. Okay. All right. Somebody's in a boot. All right. So... And we've got the page of stones and the page of stones is like a material blessing it's like it's, it's a new path it's a new material path it's not like an ace which is like a foundation stone but we're really talking about you know a nesting energy and like maybe looking after the home renovations for inside of this looking after the children looking after this could be a page of stone child this could be children in general inside of the relationship like inside of your circumstance all right but this is a real practicalities of, of having a home and what they are and what that nest is all right so we've got the ultimate father figures sort of though so it might be dealing somebody might be dealing with the devils and the and the background details when it comes to the family home or children okay but there's a healing going on there's a healing element look at that all right so we have the soul we have the soul here <coughs> And you see the thread of our soul, of our root chakra, sitting and connecting with our being while we're being healed by the shaman. Uh, this is a nice, strong spot, and again, of earth. So we're really he healing ourselves, going through a real physical healing inside of your plane, inside of the plane. Okay. Let me move them all just over just one little bit. Okay. So one more for how we got here. Hmm. so this is an emotional new beginning this is a starting and a new you might have met somebody this is a beautiful new beginning this is like you know so your heart might be out and you're going with the flow and career path and those sort of stuff that 
and you've gone through some negativity you might be still looking at the negativity this is how we've got here this is the devil this is dealing with the details this is dealing with con contracts this is dealing with our foundations our worst habits and stuff but there's an emotional new beginning in here there has to have been a healing there's a healing that you're going through in this path right that's what this meandering path is doing it's healing you it's healing you from all your background stuff like it's real strong healing physically you will make a change in your life that's how we got here what's the next four cards are our healing elements what's going to heal us Oof, new foundation new job new, new strength new house new emotions inside of our life right? this is like a new foundation stone so we've got a new emotional new beginning and come from all these details and all of this stuff and this this huge worry there's going to be a foundation there's going to be a nice strong foundation stone laid in your life where you say this is a milestone this is a spot in here for me all right and it goes with really putting your putting your skills to test and aiming and aiming for your for the big stuff in life really healing yourself like this uh this is a skill this is a skilled archer this person is really spending their time like honing in on what they do they've got all of everything they need they've got their quiver they know when to breathe they really have done this this is in the bag they've got their companions with them this is taking on the world with these skills really honing in honing in and look we're aiming it into the home here right we're homing into that into that new beginning like there's a lot of this is nice it's nice and strong healing element two more cards what have we got two more cards for the healing element Ooh, physical challenge all right take it on bring it on this is making you money this is actually bring it on like take on the challenge really taking it on in the physical world really stepping up to the plate and there's two the duality the the challenge of it all banging the pots together to make the sound like actually making your money like this is where we throw the two planets together that's saturn and jupiter we just throw them in together there right we've got our capricorn and sagittarius element really banging it there all right because there's a death of the old yeah there's the end of a season the end of something has come and you're taking on this challenge you know who you are you've got the skills there's a new foundation in your life all right and you've taken the time to heal yourself physically so you can take on the challenge right your home is stable so you are in the position that this archer is aiming in the right part in your life and you've had an emotional new beginning which is you know and your healing which is brought on the death of old circumstances death is letting go of old cycles in your life all right we're looking at career we're looking at here purification of your emotions inside of this circumstance and where the flow has taken you all right for some people this will be music you need to turn the music on all right got a background soundtrack look at the positive inside of where your circumstance is going so there might be an ending but what's beginning in here for you oh as i stretch myself out because i'm sitting in cross-legged in my love corner of my bedroom hi all right so it's my comfy spot to where i live it okay three four oof your practical application all right this is really taking it on we've got a real strength of stones inside of this reading this is really present this can be a gemini energy but this is really a practical pragmatic king we've got two kings in here we're taking life seriously as it's not sort of half-hearted this is full-hearted this is full-hearted here and we've so we've got our earth and our water kings are present on the table and this is really taking it on so we're not just emotionally taking on we're practically taking it on the methodical like of our own career of our own life of our own investments inside of here like real direction we're taking this into the home like there's a flow inside of here all right two more for how do we apply this to the world you're really going to apply yourself you're going to express yourself you're going to apply yourself like a king all right two more how are you going to apply yourself to the world people Thank you for still being here if you were watching. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. See ya. All right. So this is our high priestess. This is really connecting with our accessorial knowledge. So as much as this is grounded and this is uh, pragmatic and methodical, this is really being out there, putting yourself in a really spiritual, nutritious zone, really in that side of that flow of everything. We're going to struggle. You struggle with expression. All right, you struggle with bringing something from the mind into reality because we're talking A to A is heaven on earth and we bring it down to us, right? So you've got to be careful what you actually do think about. We were talking about that. Talking about what you think, right? What you think you shall become. Be positive, right? 
but we're struggling a bit with the death and the challenge and how we take that on and this is how our practical application is so it's how do you express how do you bring and make the money maybe out of this spiritual like this new beginnings inside of here inside of this path right and you're really working on like going through those thought patterns going through that and putting those out you got to be careful not to make them and manifest them you can actually bring them down sometimes writing it down when these air cards turn up writing it down is part of the plan inside of here so maybe write down what this for part of your exercise it's practical take a practical approach to your to your the pragmatism of this of your spirituality write the book write the write the pathway write it down write down what you want from a week out of it those sort of things all right bring the worries and the struggles out of your mind and bring them out of the exoteric and we bring them into the reality inside of here because they're all working together but we might be still just struggling it's a new emotional thing we've gone through this death and we're letting go of stuff trying to take on this challenge in here and it's still related to our home in up here Whew. all right two cards for partnerships relationships one one more for relationships partnerships what have we got relationships and partnerships one more card Ooh, getting back into the flow of these readings so have me ended myself a little bit all right let's get two more cards we need all right one more card for partnerships there it is Ooh, the hermit what have we got the heron and the hermit all right so we do have a king and a queen of water sitting here on the table right of cups so we've got the king and queen of emotions but we've got the king and the queen sitting here is essentially together this is a very fertile couple as well all right so you're going to be the, the there's an emotional queen inside of this situation we've got this mother this mothering figure that really is really loving at their best all right when we're not iced over all right this is a really loving feeling right and so this woman this is a this woman is it's it's really giving of her heart in practical so we've got like air and and earth and and water on the table represented with the court cards and that's nice strong nutritious stuff going there all right we've got two kings here so this could be a real interesting situation so we've got a king of water and we've got a king of stones sitting around this foundation inside of here with this emotional but next to this and struggle we've got bit of a hermit so you might be loving everything but you might be feeling like pulling back from people this is the hermit really is taking that internal journey and it may be still the continuation of this healing up here they do line on the table together <laughs> and it really is taking like um your light inside and taking a journey inside and it goes sitting here with this seer and the struggle and it's a lot more grounded than the struggle that you're having and so it's finding a real like with you you might be permitting and considering that there are places in australia that are in lockdown uh, it might be hermiting and having a real emotional space but connecting with your heart maybe inside of this circumstance we've got a nice strong line inside here what's the last card what have we got what have we got there's been a physical challenge and really even becoming like you know to this to the spiritual place as well like this whole healing of taking it on like actually taking it on <coughs> all right so one card for self-love what is the last card thank you mm, okay instruction so you are the master or you are the apprentice you are learning always we are ever learning even the masters will say there's something else that they're going to pick up that they don't know everything right and so it's this humble spot of in the middle of that one is the master the zero of the ten is is the is the student is the apprentice so it's always about either passing on your knowledge and teaching other people and maybe you've gone through this whole journey and pulled in so that you can teach other people so you can instruct other people maybe there's a point that it's time for you to take on a course right we've got mastery of skills and a lot of this is revolved around skills and our challenge in our career right and you may be feeling like you've just gone with the flow and you've meandered all right we've got two bows in here that really talk about honing it in you're either the master or you're the apprentice and we are ever learning inside of this cycle and it sometimes just turns over and turns over so it's an interesting spot and maybe it's time for you to nurture your mind and really it's going to hone in on this it's honing in you know what this new beginning in for you where this emotional new beginning is you're honing in and pulling in those skills and really mastering your mind inside of this circumstance even overcoming like inside of the emotional inside of all of this stuff like and you honing in on your skills really honing in on who you are as a person in the strength it's 
put on some music think about your good fortune lighten up your energy all right go with the flow like you're still on your path and it's all leading you into the right direction you have all your skills to take on everything that you want in here i hope that really helps somebody i uh, would love to hear from you in the comments please please and i'd love you to hit like and subscribe and there's the candle out so i hope you're having a great time and this is the sweetheart tea thank you very much